Okay, y'all know what time it is. It is New Year's. And of course, the last few years on New Year's, or last couple years, I guess, we've been getting these super dope banners where it's just a bunch of guaranteed, 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 guaranteed. So I'm going to stop talking and let's dive in. Now, you know, I'd be like, Banana, can you really use a lot of stuff on this? Not a lot, but it's still a decent amount. Plus, their value is just so high it looks like based on that three there you can go through it three times i don't know that i'll actually do three times we're we gonna get a fusion we're actually not i i got enough to do it through two times so we'll just see how it looks after that but the cool thing is uh in case you guys haven't been around for one of these is that even though each of these is a guaranteed specific unit there the other units are still there the entire time right so some of y'all will tag me in some absolutely insane stuff like you'll get multiple LRs with the guaranteed featured LR, multiple LRs with the guaranteed featured Dokkan Fest, whatever it is, right? So the value is still there for 200 stones. Unless Dokkan does something crazy, like not to bring up Legends in this video right now, but Legends is doing something that I really don't think Dokkan has ever done anything that even holds like a candle to it. It's crazy. If you're not familiar with Legends and you don't click on any of my Legends content and you just strictly watched the Dokkan content, they're doing what is the equivalent to a full SSR multi summon. So all 10 units, all 10 units would be SSRs. And then at the end, they're guaranteeing a Legends Limited character. Legends Limited, they don't have Dokkan festivals and they don't have LRs, right? Those are both obviously things exclusively, at least between the, these two games, just to Dokkan. I would put Legends Limited closer to a Dokkan festival exclusive but take away LRs as if LRs didn't exist, period. If Dokkan Festival exclusives were still the pinnacle of uh, just absolute God tier type units in the game, minus, of course, Zenkai, if you are familiar with Legends, it's, you know, it's an interesting thing. But Dokkan's really never done anything like that. So the closest thing that Dokkan has are these banners, which they do, what, about once a year for New Year's, and that's it. So, like, especially if you are a newer player, a returning player, um you know any of that these are these are huge right like these are these are massive like the value here to fill out teams that you might need to fill out are you know just crazy and so global should be getting one i'm actually by the time you're watching this globals should be live but because this went live so early on jps i decided i would go ahead and get it filmed and a lot of the times i would uh probably release this on the same day but since i already released another video and i might have even released a second video i did not want to release three videos in one day so i was like this could be my New Year's Day. So on that same note, if you guys, not if you guys, what do I do? Uh, Happy New Year. Hopefully your 2021 is already looking better and brighter than 2020. And uh, thank you guys for being here, being a part of my life, being a part of my channel and enjoying the content. And uh, yeah, so here's to a much brighter 2021 than, uh, than 2020. And of course, if, if you guys... Sorry about that. I guess I'll set this out. All right, join this video. As always, hit that like button and brand new year, brand new goals. Consider going down there and hitting that red subscribe button, joining the hashtag NanoFam today. Why not? Dude, I just pulled the last one of him I can use. Like, this is not one of those where I'm like, he's going to go into like a wasteland of a bunch of other dupes that are just sitting there. I just literally pulled the last copy of him that I could use, which is absolutely insane. Okay, so right here, we're hoping for a gohan or a kefla kefla especially because kefla only has one dupe so kefla is a one dupe unit which is which is nutty so i definitely hope i can get a kefla here i'm surprised we've gotten long common mihas but all right probably a fusion here all right like i'm surprised we aren't getting some like of the crazier animations we, we've been getting a long common mihas which i mean is still an animation but definitely not a fusion or anything like that uh ooh. I didn't think about that side characters. I would imagine. Okay, we're getting multiple uh, multiple Dokkan Fest here, which is nice. I would imagine that uh, Nova is probably in this, and I have zero dupes of Nova. So I would love a Nova Shinron before I'm done with all of these summons. That would be absolutely fantastic. Okay, all right. I, it should be next. Kefla, 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 Kefla. Okay, it's not a fake out. Kefla, 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 Kefla. Ah the best honest to goodness stone for stone summons i've ever had on this game are that cooler banner i meant to back out and look at it with the lrs but it's fine we'll, we'll do it on the next round the literal best stone for stone summons i have ever had on this game was that cooler banner right there 
I have never, I haven't topped it since and had never had anything that good before it. It was absolutely, I mean, you guys know, I talk about it all the time. Anytime he pops up, I'm reminded of it and I talk about it. I'm sorry. It was just that crazy. This dude needs an awakening. I'm really surprised that unit is still in the, still in the pool. Ah, what's up, Cooler? Uh, still in the, the actual pool of units you can summon and hasn't been awakened. So my guess is that there is, this is my guess. We might see it happen this year. There is a Dogon Festival exclusive Trunks in the works. That is the Trunks that my guess would be the Trunks that comes back in Z. Okay. All right. Trunks that comes back in Z to fight Frieza. Uh, and I'm I'm thinking you should have a freaking counter mechanic. I think that would be super sick. Hey. <laughs> All right. Well, add him to the collection, bro. Nice, 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 nice. We got the like the the face of the banner. It's always pretty dope. Also, the Dokon Festival is lining up very, very nice. All right. I'll go back each time because I, I do kind of want to look at the banners this time. Um. Anyways, I would expect him to have a counter and probably an active ability as well. And the active ability would would be like his his total just like slashing of the unit, you know, uh, and then his basic attack. I don't know. They could do a lot of stuff with him. But my guess is that will happen at some point and they will eventually awaken this STR trunks because they've taken plenty of units. Well, not plenty, but they've taken units out of the out of the pool and then just kind of acted like they don't exist. But he's still there and he actually was a pretty good unit back in the day. So if there was a unit that I feel like deserves a doke on awakening, from like the old days of Dokkan, it is absolutely that STR Trunks. And I think they can make him pretty crazy. And it e even better is if in the process of them Dokkan awakening him, he immediately gets an Extreme Z Awaken as well. That would be pretty sick. Kid Boo, hello, hi. I need to I need to work on some link levels with some Kid Boos. It is very, oh, I said I want to see them all. It's very cool though. The link levels are something that is is really dope. It's not something that I have focused down like a lot of people. Um, it's just not something that I really wanted to do. It's one of those things where I just wanted it to happen over time from playing the game, which I think is what they truly intended. But link levels have made a lot of units have just total turnarounds like boo units, really crazy, um, cells, which I've talked about that with truth and truth is talked about in the zone as well. Like most of these cell units, like huge, massive buff massive buff from link levels and basically any extreme unit with big bad bosses if you have a level 10 big bad bosses i mean it's i mean it's literally nutty i mean it's a game changer for nearly any unit to have level 10 link big bad boss like <laughs> that's just yeah it's something it's something else so anywho i do think oh my gosh just freaking troll bro if you guys weren't around for that arc i asked for that unit off my tickets and it i should have never asked for that unit off my tickets is basically what i'll say you would not leave me alone. As far as this goes, I don't think this changes us. It just shows you everything available each at each step. I don't really know if there's anything I could use off of this specifically. I won't lie to y'all. I'm kind of, I'm kind of doing this it's honestly for the LR step and for the potential chance of obviously like a Jiren, um, a UI Goku, a Turles, stuff like that. Like I really, dude, I would love to, I would love to get a Turles, dude. Turles, if you would have told me back in the day i would be excited about pulling a turles and use a turles unit as not a support granted you know he you know but like you know we use agl turles all the time so that that wouldn't be that much of a shock hi what's up beerus but an lr turles that is super sick and in the running for a like top five overall unit in terms of damage defense all of that i would be like what yes like i want to pull this turles really really bad so I hope, I mean, surely he's in the pool of units. I'm sitting there saying that, but he might not be. I imagine Jiren is. Um, DBZ.space is, is not like updating as frequently anymore. So I wasn't able to check. I mean, this literally, this like literally just went live. <laughs> this legitimately just went live. Speaking of meme units, ah, this unit right here, freaking A man, he's, he's everywhere. And the thing about it is, is it, do, it does make sense not to give them, you know, too much credit. But it does make sense because he helps out a lot of teams. He's on a lot of categories and his leader ability alone makes him super valuable to a lot of people, which is, I think, you know, I'm not saying they don't do it to some form of being like facetious, you know, but 
I don't know, man. <laughs> I I don't know. I can I can see it being a little bit of that, but he is really high value. Really, really high value for a lot of people. Even though if you've been playing for a long time, which I, I feel like Dokkan probably hasn't brought in too many new faces lately. I might be wrong, but I feel like they probably haven't. So you probably have been playing for quite some time. And if you've pulled him as many times as most of us have, you're probably very overseeing his face. But if you haven't, he's very usable. I just rainbowed this unit. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Of course. Okay. So this is our this is our last one. Let's see what it looks like. UI is the little, of course. I mean, they know they know it's what we want, bro. They know that's what we want. All right, this is my last summon. I, I don't really need to do the other one right now. I might I might save it for another video or something like that. We'll we'll all right. Let's see. Do we get anything off of this? Anything crazy? It's gonna say base form. We're gonna get a double screen crack. A we're gonna get panties. What are we gonna get? All right, come on, come on. What if it doesn't even give us a double? It is okay. Hey, Penny's off, huff, babe. All right. So, <sighs> UI, please. It would rainbow my UI. It would it would literally rainbow my UI. Be a freaking hell of a pull, bro. Come on. <sighs> come on. Come on. Come on. I'm actually scared. It could be way too many units, man. It could be way, way, way too many units. Oh, no. Dude. Oh, all right. All worth. All worth. That's, I mean, that's the thing. I've spent 400 stones. They had crazy cells, by the way. Absolutely insane cells. But like, realistically speaking, I've spent I've spent 400 stones much worse. Much, much worse. I lied. I threw up in my mouth a little bit, bro. Why?